I'm going to be doing something very different from what I normally do. I am going to be making a video here at the apartment, sitting at the computer, and I'm going to be comparing the Philippines to the United States and to Thailand using statistics. There are some pretty interesting websites that I have found for doing that. I mentioned uh, in a recent video uh, that it's a lot cheaper here in the Philippines and I made that my number one reason for living here though there are other reasons if it was just the cheapest place to live and that's all then I wouldn't be here but I did have to put that as number one because if it was as costly to live in the United States then I wouldn't be here so I'm going to show statistics exactly how much cheaper it is to live in the Philippines versus the United States and I'm also going to talk about other stats so stay tuned. I have mentioned uh, many positives about living here in the Philippines, uh, but of course there are negatives. And the number one negative would be hospital and health care. It could be a deal breaker for many people. It just can't be as good here as the United States or Canada or Australia or other so-called first world nations. If you have significant health problems, uh, it would be a very big concern being here in the Philippines, I would think. For average type issues, uh, it's probably okay. For emergency care, I worry about that a little bit. Obviously, if you have a big emergency, you'd want to be in the United States or other countries instead of here. But that's one thing you have to deal with and take a risk on, depending on uh, what your risk levels are and what your health is at present. Now, I maintain insurance in the United States, uh, Medicare and supplemental, so I can go back for treatment if, I'm, if it's not some emergency that makes me bedridden. The hospitals here in the Philippines are not rated as high as the United States, but in the United States, their, their hospitals aren't that high rated uh, as you might think. Let's take a look at some of the stats here. This is the World Health Organization rankings. France being number one. And you got to go down the list to 30 to see Canada. 37 for the United States. So the United States doesn't rank as high as most Americans think. Then you got to go down to number 60 for the Philippines. There are many countries worse than the Philippines. The Philippines falls very close to the middle for the 100 and well there's 190 rankings so it's not in the middle it's in the top third or so of the world so the Philippines isn't as bad as you might think but it's definitely not as good as more developed nations there are good hospitals here in the Philippines close to being on par maybe with the United States there's a couple of hospitals highly rated in Manila and one or two in Angeles City which is only an hour's drive from Subic Bay so decent hospitals are available problem here in the Philippines is the vast difference between the best hospitals and the worst hospitals you get out in the provinces, obviously those hospitals do not rate very high. In the United States, I would say the hospitals are much closer together in 
uh, quality from the top to the bottom. Now even though the hospitals don't rank high in the United States compared to other nations, uh, you would think the U.S. would be in the top 10 and they are not. However, for outcome of various conditions, the U.S. ranks very high in a couple of categories for cancer outcome and for heart disease outcome and heart operations. The U.S. is in the top 10 in both of those categories. So for those very common things, uh, you would go back to the U.S. if you had those issues and probably wouldn't be treated here in the Philippines if you had insurance. So now I'm going to get into the cost of living stats and other stats. I found a very interesting website called Nubio, Nubio and I will put the link down below that not only compares the United States to the Philippines, but city to city. You can compare any city of the major cities in the United States to major to medium-sized cities here in the Philippines. And that's important because it depends on where you live in the United States as far as how much cheaper it is here. If you live in San Francisco or San Diego, you're going to save a lot more money percentage-wise moving to the Philippines than you would living in the Midwest. So let's take a look here. I put in uh, a comparison of Alongapo to San Diego. And let's see how things work out. Consumer prices. 96% higher in the Philippines. Consumer prices, including rent, 145% higher in the Philippines. Rent prices, 372% higher than in the Philippines. This is the comparing the United States restaurant prices are 251% higher than the Philippines. Grocery prices 104% higher than the Philippines. So there you get a, a general idea. Now you can go down here and find special categories. Domestic beer, 300% more costly in the United States. Imported beer, 200% higher in the United States. Let's take a look at Pepsi, 247% higher in the United States. Loaf of bread, 159% higher in the United States. And it goes on and on like this. It's very interesting and with the hundreds of categories and specific things listed here. Taxi, 550% higher in the United States. Gasoline, now there is a interesting category. It's 24% more expensive in the Philippines. That is a big hitter there. 24% more expensive in the Philippines. That's a problem here. Electricity is 39% more costly in the United States. However, it's considered to be very expensive here in the Philippines uh, for the Filipinos. And when you compare it to everything else, electricity is expensive. That's why you see very little use of it by the Filipinos. They will have like one light on in their house, for instance. They don't burn nearly as much power as Americans do. This site has everything here from uh, clothing, shoes. Uh, let's look at rent per month. Rent is 392% higher in San Diego versus Alongapo. 
apartment, three bedrooms, 271% more expensive than San Diego. So that gives you a, a, an idea of the expenses and how they compare. Let's take a look at the crime statistics. Uh, the use of um, on the murder rate, let's look at that. That is higher in the Philippines by about 20%. Murders with firearms, much higher here in the Philippines. Police officers are 63% more in San Diego than here. The rape rate, four times more in San Diego than here in Alongapo. Total crimes per 1,000 people, 30 times more than the Philippines. However, the uh, that's interesting. The total crime is a lot less here, but the murder rate is higher here. Let's take a look. Uh, murder rate, uh, three times more than the Philippines in San Diego. Violent crime, oh, that's another rape. Four times more rapes with this statistic. So it's a mixed bag. Higher murder but less crime overall here in the Philippines. Here is an interesting stat. I was talking about electricity being Cheaper, a little cheaper here than the United States, but the consumption is much less because the Filipinos think it's very expensive, and it is compared to everything else. Filipinos consume one twentieth the kilowatt hours per capita than Americans do. One twentieth. That's amazing. Another popular retirement area here in Asia is Thailand. Uh, and oftentimes people talk about the differences between uh, the Philippines and Thailand, one being better than the other. Well, let's talk about price differences. I plugged in Pattaya or Pattaya, depending on your preference of saying it, to Alongapo. So let's compare prices. Consumer prices in Pattaya, Pattaya, 32% higher than Alongapo. Consumer prices including rent, 53% higher in Thailand. Rent prices, 175% higher. Restaurant prices, 51% higher in Thailand. And grocery prices, 30 nine percent higher in Thailand. So there's a significant difference between the two in prices when comparing the Subic Bay area to Pattaya, Thailand. So there you go with some of the statistics comparing countries. If you're interested in seeing a lot more, I'm leaving the link below of the most interesting website of comparing cities so that is very handy when you're looking at price differences